हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल पार्थ दोषी लर्निंग बाय डूइंग सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम ऑफ द इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन यूआई पाथ एप्स व्हिच इज राइट नाउ इन पब्लिक प्रीव्यू सो देयर इज वन ऑफ द इंटरेस्टिंग फीचर एंड एन अपडेट दैट आई वाज वेटिंग फॉर इन यूआई पाथ एप्स दैट वाज अबाउट एक्सप्रेशंस एंड फंक्शंस इन यूआई पाथ एप्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट आर दैट एक्सप्रेशन एंड यूआई पाथ एप्स एंड also we are going to see how it can be useful for us and a small implementation about this same so let's get started now to navigate to ui path apps you need to go to cloud.uipath.com and then you have apps over here you can create your new app or use any one which is created already so i'm going to use one that is created already now till now when we used to work with apps many people i think have put up on forum as well and on linkedin as well that is there any features that we could do calculations and many other things in the app itself because previously we had to run that particular process right and we had to run that particular process and then we could see the output of that like if i have to do addition of two numbers i should have a process where on in click of button or a value change i used to execute that process and see the output but now with this update it has really changed many things and the basic calculations and all that we see are easily doable in ui path apps and this is a great update so how to enable this expressions how you can use them even in public preview as of now you need to click on settings of your app and you see this options of expression you need to enable this enable expressions preview for this app and you will be able to explore it and learn what are expressions and how you can use them so let's start building some dummy app to understand this particular feature now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag a container okay within the container i'm going to have my two text boxes and and i am going to make this horizontal so i can add text boxes side by side okay and i am going to drag another text box now what i am going to do just to make it more presentable i am going to add a label which will show something like this so i am going to perform additions or you can say sum of two numbers and i am going to put it as plus over here okay then i'm going to use another label and we are going to make it equal to and okay you cannot do that because and that is one we use for calculation and i'm going to put something like this okay result equal to this and we are going to have our final label <clears throat> okay which is going to be here now what we want to do is we want to keep this output as bold make it 25 pixels okay and put it into a proper black color okay. now what you can do is when i click over here and when i select this if i put equal to right over here you see you have this all the functions <clears throat> and expressions are something we can create our by our own self okay so now if you see over here we have multiple functions and return true if all arguments are true then you can give your condition like number 1 equal to number 2 then it will return a true boolean value then we have concatenate okay then we have contain so like the normal contains function that we use within our ui path apps if you want to do something like that ui path process and you want to do something like that over here that is also possible so these are the default functions that you have but what if you want to create something custom like a formula or something that you want to build you can do that as well so what we are going to do is first we'll create variables of this particular text boxes so value binding i'm going to create a app variable number 1 <clears throat> app variable are something which does not represent your ui path process arguments but they can be used within the app itself during the run time and i'm going to click on complete and what i'm going to do is i want 
नंबर वन प्लस नंबर टू वैल्यू सो दिस इज माई कस्टम एक्सप्रेशन दैट आई है फंक्शन आर समथिंग दैट यू कैन यूज आउट ऑफ दिस वेल सी समथिंग रिलेटेड टू दैट एज वेल ओके एंड लेट्स डू वन थिंग एड वन मोर कंट्रोल एंड put an header over here at the top and i'm going to move it over here okay performing some of two numbers okay just to give an idea of the context of the app that we have right and let's click on preview so here right now we have created our own custom expressions as you can see now result is equals to now i am going to type 5 so till now since only one number is given as a input i can see result equal to 5 but i am going to put 10 over here so you see the result is 15 so now any time if you have your custom formula or there is something that you want to do perform any operations be it any arithmetic operations or anything you can custom create your own expressions and you can use them which in turn will help you to you know make your app more user friendly and not involve too many ui path processes for simple tasks now this was the expressions that we built now let's do one thing let's add something else okay let me pull up a container again and see what other functions can we try before that let's put one more header over here and we'll give it some name later on okay add new control and text box let me make this container type to horizontal okay text box event and if we put equal to Okay. Okay. This is text box. It is going to work into a label. So we are also going to put a label up over here. And in the text, we are going to put equal to. And now, okay. Let's put this. So in bracket, I have to pass my text. So I am going to create a variable over here, an app variable. and it's going to be email okay and your expression i'm going to first of all style it and contents okay so first in contents what you have to do is you have to pass your text which is going to be email and comma okay comma you have to pass a fragment fragment is basically the string that you are looking for that should be present so let us try this way abc okay if this works or not unexpected value okay okay let's see what this is okay. how are we going to pass a fragment let's go to ui part docs ui part apps documentation okay so this is how i also find solution to my problems that documentation is you know one of the very much and a very helpful thing to get immediate solution to your problems right and our function is going to be contains okay so let's see what we have okay so it was basically we have to put it in double quotes so let's put it in double quotes and put abc and now see okay and i'm going to put it as contains string abc okay and here th this is something that is more interesting here you can put something like this please enter email so this is your placeholder i misspelled it okay no problem okay now let's click on save now and preview so you see how quickly i was able to find 
solution to my problem going through documentation so again this is very helpful now I'm, right now it is false since it does not have abc so i'm going to put car still it does not have at the rate abc dot com okay i think it accepts only abc okay contains text maybe i have not binded i think so let's check over oh, yeah. here please enter email so you see the value in hari we have not binded it so it is not picking that value okay now let's click on save now and again publish so these are the minor mistakes that we make while building an app or performing any automation but yeah that is what we have to you know try to resolve it path at the rate abc.com now you see since it contains abc it is true now if i type p a t b c so still it has abc that is the reason it is showing true so okay now it is false because the abc is not in you know as a string now it will be showing true so this is how i have used the contains function right now again let's go back to expressions and if you see over here there are many other things you can perform and concat count how many it has okay count and what you have to specify in count is the number of records in the table so you have to basically pass your string okay let's see what output it gives us and you can definitely explore more in detail with this so is blank if an error pop up this is i think very important in any ui that we are developing <clears throat> okay okay count an email so count counts the number of records in a table okay count is used to count the number of records in a table if we want this then i think we'll have to pick the length one right so count is again useful one if you are using custom tables or something like that right in an app you can do that okay let's save now and go back to publish so the characters are fine now if you want something like you want length and you don't want it to exit to 10 characters or 15 characters and you want to show an error pop up or something like that you can do this so this is how this expression and functions are going to be really very useful during our automation and the custom ui applications that we'll be building using ui path apps i hope you explored something new and interesting in ui path apps and this i think not many people have explored it yet or know how to enable it but yeah this is one of the very interesting features and if you build some app which it involves more expression and functions use do tag me on linkedin when you post a video thank you so much for watching the complete video i hope you learned something interesting and new in ui path apps thank you